Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. This is going to be your stock watch list for the 4th of September, Wednesday. Uh, this four-day uh, trading week, uh, Monday the markets were closed. Uh, today the markets opened up. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the news after hours. Then we'll go through some of the markets and some stocks, and then we'll hit our stock watch list uh, for tomorrow. First uh, thing we'll take a look at is the news, courtesy of uh, the Trade Exchange. Uh, so BOX, a 13D, was filed by a starboard uh, value, 7.5% uh, stake on a BOX. So that stock uh, moving up uh, about a dollar in the after hours uh, did flash up higher than that as the uh, news algos grabbed it, pushed it up to 17, currently trading around 15.85 in the after hours. Uh, we did have some uh, earnings come out after the bell. HQY earnings per share beat by 10 cents revenue uh, beat on HQY. Uh, that stock is moving down uh, in the after hours. Uh, let's see. SENS. Uh, announces two positive Blue Cross Blue Shield coverage decisions on uh, SENS. So some news there. Coop uh, had earnings come out. Earnings per share beat by 15 cents and a revenue beat on uh, Coop. Uh, that stock is moving up. Closed at uh, 134. Currently trading up uh, $14 at uh, 148 in the after hour. So a big move up on that uh, earnings out by uh, COUP. Let's see if that uh, ignites some of the... Um, other stocks in that space uh, for tomorrow. I'll be looking for sympathy plays perhaps on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, we had a uh, Yuma receives acceptance of compliance plan from the NYSE Yuma. Uh, so that stock uh, popping a little bit in the after hours. Uh, closed at a dollar ninety one. Uh, they popped it up to two twenty five. Currently around two dollars uh, in the after hours on uh, Yuma Y U M A. Uh, then we had some news. Uh, well, we got some Fed speak coming out after the bell tonight. Uh, you can pause the uh, video right here and uh, read the comments by Fed uh, Bullard. Uh, in, it came out around uh, 5 o'clock in the evening tonight. Uh, let's see, what other news did we get uh, after hours tonight? Uh, HEPA Pharmaceutical regains compliance with the NASDAQ uh, listing requirements on HEPA. Uh, we also had uh, other news come out here. Turtle Beach teams up with uh, Inter Milan Star and Avid Game uh, Romulu. Uh, so uh, Gamer Romulu Luku. Uh, so here, H-E-A-R. I didn't see much uh, movement uh, with that uh, in the after hours uh, tonight on H-E-A-R. Uh, let's see, Tops is ripping in the after hours. Uh, it's a shipper. Uh, we actually talked about this on the uh, video yesterday. Uh, Tops has recently done a one for 20 reverse split. Uh, the stock closed at 666, the uh, devil's number there, triple sixes, uh, and is now trading over $9 in the after hours. Uh, shares are trading higher after the company reported, uh, let's see, 2019 sales of uh, 29 million, a little over 29 million compared to 19.8 million year over year. The company has reported a loss of uh, 600,000 compared to a loss of 6.6 6 million in the same period last year. Uh, so their uh, report coming out uh, positive. Uh, you can pause the video and read the rest of this uh, if you'd like uh, on the uh, news there. So tops pushing strong uh, in the after hours. So uh, maybe some other shippers will be popping uh, with uh, tops uh, tomorrow. Uh, PBYI uh, got uh, orphan uh, drug uh, tag for uh, one of their products here for uh, certain breast cancer patients on uh, PBYI. Uh, that stock uh, flashed up but quickly gave it back 
uh, in the after hours. Uh, let's see, we closed at 1043. Uh, it's up a little bit, up uh, 1150 in the after hours. And then MNK announces completion of uh, previously disclosed settlement agreement with the U.S. Department of Justice on uh, sales and marketing activities. Uh, MNK company to pay settlement of $15.4 million uh, for MNK. Uh, so that stock, uh, not much reaction in the after hours. So that's some of your news, courtesy of the trade exchange. Uh, that's the news that came out, after, some of the news that came out after the bell uh, this evening. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the heat map uh, from today, courtesy of Finviz here. Uh, Amazon was up today. Uh, RBC raised uh, the price target on Amazon up to uh, 2600 uh, It closed at 1789.84 on Amazon, uh, but they got that 2600 price target increase. Uh, it was up. Uh, three quarters of a percent on the day. Uh, as you can see, a lot of the FANG names were uh, red today. Uh, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, not in the FANG, but uh, technology stocks. Uh, Twitter started out strong uh, this morning and then gave it all back and ended up down 1.62%. Uh, the banks uh, were red today. JP Morgan down over 1%. Uh, Wells Fargo down over 1%. Bank America almost down uh, 2% on the day. Citigroup uh, down almost almost uh, one and a half percent on the day for the banks PNC Bank uh, also a regional bank uh, taking a hit there uh, so the banks were down the utilities were really popping today I'll show you the XLU uh, knee is a utility up almost three percent today uh, Duke climbing one percent Con Ed up almost 2%. Uh, folks are looking for places to get uh, dividends, uh, money, and interest on their money. So they're going to the utilities and the REITs. Uh, so a lot of heavy buying in the utilities today. Uh, Procter & Gamble, defensive name, uh, getting some buying today. Uh, we had uh, Philip, uh, Philip Morris and uh, Altria Group uh, jumping back today. Uh, we also had UNH down today. Pfizer jumping 1.5% uh, on the day. Uh, Merck up fractionally for the day. So uh, mixed markets here. Uh, the Dow Jones itself was down uh, 285 points. The transports were down uh, 135 points. The NASDAQ minus uh, 89 points. And the S&P 500 uh, was minus uh, 20 points on the day. Um, let's see. We had uh, construction uh, spending missing on expectations that number came out at 10 o'clock today and then the ism manufacturing number uh came out at 10 o'clock today uh and that hit the uh, lowest in three years on the ism manufacturing might have been nine eight uh, nine forty five for the ism and then 10 o'clock on the construction uh check me on those when they were released but they were released today in the morning and uh, both of them missed the mark uh, september historically is a tough uh, month for the markets uh um, and then uh, we had some uh, uh, tweets out by Trump. Uh, Trump was warning about China dragging its feet uh, in the trade talks uh, today. And uh, so we had some comments and tweets coming out uh, from President Trump. Uh, so the markets finished red. Uh, today, China tariffs went into effect over the weekend. Uh, the weak U.S. manufacturing and data uh, was released today, and that did not help the markets. Uh, some stocks that were uh, some of your top gainers. Uh, top news gainers and losers. Uh, we had ABEO looking for a strategic uh, move here, maybe putting itself up for sale. ABEO, a big jump in that one. ARDX, which we traded in uh, Zozo Stockwatch today. Uh, we got a really nice move in this thing from uh, $4.55, 460 area, and the stock uh, popped up to, uh, let me see, on ADRX. Uh, that stock uh, went all the way up to uh, $6.08 in the after hours. I'll show you that chart in a little bit. And then we had uh, CONN. Uh, they came out with earnings, so that stock uh, jumping. Some of your losers, uh, Cliff got hit today, PUMP, ACAD, NINE, Lyft uh, making new lows, and Uber was also uh, down today. So those names not faring uh, so well today on the losing side. Those That information courtesy of the trade exchange. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the uh, SPY. 
All right, so the SPY basically, uh, here's the daily of the SPY. We're still in this range. Draw a line here. Uh, so you have a range, a range down to 282, and we have a top of the range up here at around uh, 294, 295. Uh, we're in the middle of this range right now, hanging out around the 5 and the 10, and we came down to the 20 SMA. Not a big pullback here on the uh, SPY. 20 SMA was around is right now at 289.50, uh, so we pulled back to the 20 SMA, bounced around there, uh, and then ended up in this kind of uh, indecisive uh, candle, uh, a doji, I guess. So uh, uncertainty still remains in the markets, although we remain above the 200 SMA, but below the 50 SMA. So there's your range, right, on the uh, SPY. And most of the markets are looking like that. The Qs still below the 50 SMA. The IWM looks a little treacherous here uh, as it's uh, trending down uh, we have that 145 that might come into play again on uh, on uh, IWM. So keep an eye on that 145 uh, area if that breaks again. Uh, also IWC, the micro caps trending down that 84 area held the last time. Uh, looks like we might be on our way to retest that again for the IWC. Uh, oil was down today, uh, down over 2% on the day for light sweet crude oil. Uh, USO, the ETF for uh, light sweet crude oil, uh, below all the moving averages here on oil. Uh, XOIL, the light sweet crude oil is under uh, $55 a barrel, still holding above 50, but we remain below 60, and now we're below $55 a barrel on light sweet crude oil. Check out this move. This is utilities. Uh, you don't see this too often in utilities. Look at this big move up. As people are looking for safety and uh, interest uh, uh, dividends, uh, the uh, the uh, XLU just on fire today, up over 1.77% uh, on the utilities. Uh, such names as uh, Con Edison, a big move up there. Duke uh, with a big move up uh, today on uh, some of these names. I think FE was, yeah, FE making a nice move up. So all these utility plays were popping uh, today. Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, some of the things that were down. The XBI uh, looks like it's breaking down, trending down. Looks like it's going to break down below these recent lows. Uh, let's look at the IBB. Uh, that's also trending down, breaking down on the IBB. Uh, the XOP, the oil and uh, exploration and production ETF uh, is back down here to the lows. Uh, looks like that's going to break down the OIH. Also uh, headed back down, uh, coming back down to that $11 uh, area on the OIH, uh, moving back down. So uh, not looking good for anything in oil. And then to the upside today, like we said, the XLU, uh, the uh, real estate uh, ETF, the XLRE, uh, that is uh, pushing higher. Or you could look at the IYR, uh, the real estate index uh, fund, the IYR, uh, continues to trend and go higher. Uh, the TLT actually pulled back a little bit uh, today. It had popped up, uh, then it pulled back, but still holding above the 5 uh, EMA, the 5, and the 10 SMA here on the uh, TLT. So those rates are still up there. Uh, I'm sorry, still down. Uh, so folks are flying into defensive uh, areas for dividends and whatnot, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so uh, the the uh, ISM did come out at 10 o'clock, and we did get construction spending both coming out at 10 o'clock. Uh, that's when the market really started to uh, move down today. Uh, the Dow was down at 1.400 points, did recover some, uh, but at 10 o'clock numbers, uh, that's what really pushed the markets down. Uh, heads up uh, for tomorrow. Uh, we do have a lot of Fed speak on our plate for tomorrow, four or five uh, Fed speakers tomorrow. Uh, we get the uh, EIA petroleum numbers coming coming out at 11 o'clock on Thursday uh, because we had the holiday. The markets were closed. Government offices were closed. So they shift that over to uh, 11 o'clock on Thursday. Uh, Friday, we have the jobs number coming out and we get Jerome Powell speaking at 1230 uh, on Friday, the 6th of September. So something to look forward to towards the end of the week there. Uh, some of your earnings coming out for tomorrow. You get American Eagle Outfitters. Uh, they'll be 
be reporting before the bell. AEO symbol there. You get Michaels, another retailer. Uh, Navistar will be reporting. Uh, then we get uh, quite a bit of companies reporting Wednesday after the bell. Uh, MongoDB, MDB symbol there. Palo Alto Networks, Cloudera. Uh, will be reporting Slack, W-O-R-K, symbol there, at home, H-O-M-E, will be reporting uh, Smartsheet, S-M-A-R, symbol there, uh, and Pivotal will be reporting all after the bell uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. Then we move into Siena before the bell, Signet, uh, Lulu reports Thursday after the bell, L-U-L-U, -L -U, Canadian company there, Zoom, Z-M, uh, DocuSign, D-O-C-U, will be reporting uh, after the bell on Thursday. So that's some of your earnings coming out uh, for the rest of the week uh, courtesy of earnings whisper so let's go ahead and get into that watch list uh, for tomorrow. Uh, ABEO will be on watch. We'll see if we can get a continuation move uh, in this name for tomorrow. Maybe a slight pullback and then a turn back up, a red to green. Uh, intraday for tomorrow, uh, 23 million shares came into this name today. Uh, so we'll have it on watch. Uh, APHA. Some of the cannabis names uh, were popping up into the close here. APHA was moving up. Uh, this daily chart, uh, maybe trying to you know you have this wedge forming here uh, if you draw a line right here and then you kind of draw your line here so you have this wedge formation this consolidation pattern here uh, so if we can break up and out you might get a continuation move and APHA keep it on your watch uh, you might even uh, want to swing trade uh, some of this APHA uh, you know this video is just for educational purposes but you have a tight stop here uh, if it breaks six dollars you could probably just get Get out of the name uh, but uh, maybe a possible swing trade in APHA once again these videos are for educational purposes only uh, ARDX gave an awesome trade today over this uh, 455 spot right here uh, it came back at us a little bit but then finally they took took this thing all the way up and pushed it up on ARDX. So a nice push up there. Uh, probably going to have an inside day for tomorrow, but over the next few days uh, might be worth watching. Had news today on the name. Uh, CDTX also had news today. 16.8 uh, million shares came into this one. Uh, they popped it up at the open, but it really didn't do much after that. Uh, so, you know, we'll see if it'll do anything over the next uh, couple of days. It is back above the uh, 200 S SMA here on the daily chart. Uh, worth keeping on a chart. Don't know if it's going to do anything. Uh, like I said, the cannabis names, Cronus Group was uh, popping up. Maybe one to keep on watch. Uh, you have a real tight stop here if you want to try some Cronus Group uh, for a possible swing trade. Uh, trying to turn the corner here a little bit. Uh, if you want to give it a whirl, uh, play it small. At least the stop is tight here uh, for a possible swing trade or intraday trading. Now, uh, we got to watch some of the shippers because because uh, they're ticking up in the after hours uh, because uh, Tops uh, is flying in the after hours. A recent one for 20 reverse split. They took shares out of the uh, market here, lowered their float. Uh, so you have uh, on the 22nd of August, they did that one for 20 uh, reverse split. So this stock is uh, jamming up in the after hours tonight. So keep an eye on some of these shippers, right? You have DCIX, uh, GLBS uh, is moving up in sympathy. Uh, this close at 221 uh, now trading at 259 uh, in the after hour so one to watch uh, tomorrow INMD recent IPO uh, got a couple of initiations uh, to the upside uh, today on INMD uh, so we'll keep this one on watch maybe if it can take out the highs of uh, today 2259 2275 uh, maybe that gets this one going more on INMD JS JASN uh, this is an under uh, $1 name. Uh, big volume has been coming into this name the last few days, uh, battling at that $0.60. Cent. So maybe if this can get above and clear $0.65, cents, you might get a nice push in JASN. They had news uh, last week. Uh, NETE was climbing all day today. Uh, it was a slow, low-volume uh, stock. 
uh, early on, and then it started to pick up some momentum. But by that time, uh, it seemed a little extended to me, and then finally made a nice push into the close here, NETE, uh, battling at that uh, 650 area. Uh, 1.3 million shares uh, came into it. So we'll keep it on watch, uh, maybe for tomorrow or the next few days. OPGN, uh, this is another name that's done a uh, 1 for 20 uh, reverse split back on the 29th of August. Uh, so it was ticking up in the after hours uh, tonight. So we'll see if there's anything there for tomorrow. Uh, PEIX and ethanol play uh, has been consolidating here. Has that 70 cent uh, area. There was a recent high at 72 cents, uh, but starting to turn back up. So keep an eye on that one. Uh, Trump has been tweeting about ethanol in, and uh, so so uh, it's been getting some buying here. PEIX, once again, an under $1 name. RKDA, always on watch, uh, traded it today. Uh, it popped up a little bit. Uh, and then later in the session, it was popping up over $8. Uh, so this one, RKDA, looks like uh, it may be, uh, still have some legs here. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, RTTR popping up here, kind of breaking out of this wedge here that you see on my lines. I'll tighten it up. Uh, almost a million shares came into this RTTR. Uh, so we'll keep it on watch for tomorrow. Uh, looks like it has a dollar 25 up ahead. It closed at around a dollar uh, 14 or so. So uh, we'll have that on a chart. Uh, SAVA uh, perking up a little bit today. Uh, volume 1.3 million shares uh, came into this. Uh, let's see, we got as high as about a dollar thirty-five. So maybe if we can take out these highs of a dollar thirty-five, a dollar forty, we might get a push up to a dollar fifty on the name uh, SNSS. Also uh, perking up today, making that turn back up. 1.7 million shares has the one dollar up ahead. Uh, if you can get up and clear over that one dollar, uh, you might get a move. It had a recent high of a dollar eleven here on SNSS. Keep it on your watch. Uh, TLGT also uh, charting to turn the corner, still stuck below the 200 SMA. Uh, let's see if it's doing anything after hours. 106 uh, in the after hours. Uh, so keep this one on watch. 1.3 million shares have been coming into the name. It's a beaten down name, but trying to turn the corner. Uh, Tilray, another uh, cannabis name. Uh, popping into the close uh, today, closed at uh, 3010. Uh, so this one uh, looks like it may be trying to, uh, you know, uh, reverse here. So maybe for an intraday trade on TLRY, tops we talked about. Uh, now, depending on what tweet we get, we'll keep uh, TIVX on watch. Uh, we'll also keep uh, TZA on watch. If the IWM uh, starts to break down more, TZA should be moving up. SDS, uh, if they continue to move the markets down, uh, SDS might come into play or SPXU. Uh, intraday TVIX for volatility. Uh, if they start uh, jamming the markets down, Tivix could give us a trade. Uh, VSLR over in the solar uh, stocks is holding up okay. Uh, it's, uh, you know, popping here, holding above the 50 SMA. Maybe a possible swing trade on this one if they can get it up over the 850 area on VSLR. Uh, WW, Weight Watchers uh, holding up well. Uh, there was a recent high back here on Friday the 9th. Uh, let's see, the high was uh, 3159. We're at 3062. Uh, so if they can get it back over 31 and a quarter, maybe we start to get a move in WW. Keep it on watch. The chart has been holding up. Uh, Yuma had that news in after hours tonight that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, so maybe Yuma. Uh, might want to make a move tomorrow. We'll see. All right. If this video is helping you out, please hit the like button down below this video. You'll see a like button. Please hit that button. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, and we'd greatly like to grow the channel. So this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Hope everybody has a good day trading for tomorrow, Wednesday. This is a shortened week and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow night with another video. Have a great day trading tomorrow.